In this video, I'll show you how you can set up and then how you can use the Electrum wallet to store your Bitcoin offline. I'll cover how you can install it, how you can send and how you can receive Bitcoin all in this video. So let's jump into it. So the first thing we need to do is download the Electrum wallet. To do that, go to Google and just type in Electrum wallet. And you should see the official website appear first. The official website is electrum.org. Don't go and download the wallet from any other website. Make sure you're on electrum.org. Once you're on this website, go to download and that will give you your download options. I'm on Windows 10, so I'll go to Windows 7 and higher and I'll download the Windows installer. But if you're on any other operating system, you can download it for that as well. So go ahead and download the Windows installer if you're on Windows and then run the installation wizard once it's downloaded. So here is the Electrum installer. You can choose a destination folder to install it to. You may want to install it to a memory stick or you can just go ahead and install it to your computer. It works fine on both. Some people just like to install it off their computer onto a memory stick though. I'm going to install it to my C drive for this video and then click install. And that will just go ahead and install Electrum here. Okay, so now the installation has been complete. We can now close out of that. Now if we go to our start menu and we type in Electrum, we should see the app which we can then run. So here is Electrum which you first load it up. Now once you first load it up, because I've installed it before, I'm, I've got my other wallet here. But when you first load it up, you'll see create a new wallet. It might look something like this. Here you can give your wallet a name. So I'm going to call my wallet underscore YT for the YouTube video. We're then going to go ahead and click next. Before you click next though, you can choose on your computer where you want to save it to. By default, it will just go ahead and be saved into the Electrum folder. Go ahead and click next, choose standard wallet and create a new seed. That will take you to this page here, which is one of the most important pages once you're setting up Electrum. Basically, if you're unfamiliar with a 12 word seed, it's a 12 word phrase, which you can use to get back into your wallet if you lose access to your computer or if your hard drive gets corrupted or so on. What you would do is you would save this 12 word phrase and you can use this inside of Electrum to gain access to your cryptocurrency again. So it's important that you write this down and you don't lose it. It's also important that you don't give this to anybody because with this phrase, somebody if somebody has it, they can get access to your wallet and then essentially steal your Bitcoin. So never give this to someone, always write it down and you can use this if you lose access to your wallet. Once you've wrote that down, go ahead and go to next and then go ahead and type it out in here. Okay, so now we've done that, we can now go next and now we can choose a password. And then once we've done that, we can then go next again and it will then open up the Electrum wallet. So here is the wallet. Now, when you first open the wallet, you'll see your wallet name here. You'll see your balance, which will be zero, and you'll see the current status of the wallet and the network, which is green, which is good. Now, what I recommend you do first when you first get access to the wallet, go to Tools, go to Preferences, and by default, it will be on MBTC. Um, I like to just change it to BTC so we can see more clearly what value our wallet is. We can then also change the color theme to dark and we would have to reset for them changes to go through. Now to receive Bitcoin, you will go to the receive tab and here you can go ahead and create a new address. And then this will be your new Bitcoin address, which you can copy and you can give this to someone and then they could then send you Bitcoin using this address. If you wanted to send Bitcoin, you'd go to send and then you would paste in an address here. You could then enter in the amount here and then you could go ahead and click on pay and that would send out Bitcoin from your wallet. All of your history is here and that's pretty much it. 